uh, another song here before we go, and uh, um, I'm going to get Mike to lead us in this one. Uh, it's a big one. Oh, hang on. I got to switch it up. Yeah, okay. Well, while I'm doing that, I'm going to just ask Barry Keen a question, because I haven't asked Barry any good questions here yet today. Out there, I'm sure he's kind of sitting on some good stories, not just sitting on the drum throne there. He's actually, he knows where the bodies are buried here, you know, so I'm going to Barry, um, backstage, you had intimated that you had uh, a certain story about Gord, um, and all I know is that it involved pants, and that's and I was intrigued instantly. So, uh, can you just elaborate a little bit on what, what that's all about? I'm going to pass you the mic. Thank you, Jacob, and thanks everybody for coming out. <laughs> meeting with Gordon Lightfoot, we have to go back to 1972, and I was hired, I was a working studio musician back then, and Warner Brothers, well, Gordon decided it was time to do an album in Canada. He had done a few records in Nashville and LA, so he was going to record in Canada, and they had to hire some extra musicians to augment Gordon's touring group, which was... Terry Clements, Red Shea, and Rick Haynes. And folks were talking 1972, and Rick was already Gord's longtime bass player. <laughs> so anyway, uh, producer from LA named Lenny Warrenker, who had produced yeah, uh, Simon and Garfunkel, Bette Midler, uh, um, Ricky Lee Jones. Anyway, Lenny came up from LA and he brought the head engineer from Warner Brothers, Lee Hirschberg, to record Jesus. the album. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so we recorded the album, which turned out to be old dance records. There was a song on it called You Are What I Am. We were listening to a playback. And Lenny said, it's a good track, but we need something, something else. And Gord paused for a minute and he said, okay, you and me, we'll go out. Okay. So the assistant engineer set up two stools for Gord and I to do some kind of a duet. And anyway, Gord said, we need to throw some leg on this. And I didn't have any idea what he was talking about, but it turned out to be what most people would call handbone, where you where you play on play on your leg. Okay, so we're sitting on the stool. We get halfway through the first take. Lee Hirschberg, the engineer, pipes in and said, "The part's great, but we need a different sound." And Gord said, "Okay, man." He looked at me and said, "Drop your britches." <laughs> And I just met Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> and the studio was filled with people. And I, my first thought, because our backs were to the control room, and I thought, it's a joke. It's got to be a joke. Anyway, I turned, I looked, nobody was laughing. <laughs> well, this, while I was trying to process this, Gord unbuckled his belt undid his pants, and down to his ankles go his pants. And then he looked at me like, okay, it's your turn. <laughs> so what do you do? So I did. And I'm sitting on a stool next to Gordon Lightfoot with our pants at our ankles. And we played leg on our bare thighs, and that's what you hear on the song, You Are What I Am. young musicians out there. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be prepared to do what it takes to get the gig. And uh, Barry, that's an unbelievable story. Uh, and I'm sure it's, uh, it's, he's got a million more of those where that came from. But uh, Barry Keen on the drums, everybody. Hey!